Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the London Pen Company. This is the Christopher in Caramel Aeronoid. We have a Twisby Vac 700R in the Iris. We have a Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Lutrans. We have a Visconti Chastley Luxuries Southwest. We have a Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. We have another Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. We have a Visconti Blue Ripple. We have a Visconti... Uh, Palazzo di Sassuolo, and we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi. So I think let's take a look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the London Pen Company, and this is the Christopher, and it's in this beautiful caramel aeronoid, and I do love this pen a lot. I think it has a really good polished finish to it. This is a really, really nice uh, looking color and pen and pattern. Uh, this one it is inked up and you can see that there. This has a broad Yovo steel nib. Uh, it's a gold plated nib and you have a uh, section there that is ebonite and uh, it's a cartridge converter pen. You can see in the size of my hand. Uh, you could post these caps if you wanted to, but it doesn't post that much and doesn't post deeply and honestly uh, it really wasn't designed to be a, a posting cap but you could try and post it if you wanted to if if posting is a showstopper for you so that pen is currently inked up this week uh, i have a twisby vac 700r iris and you can see here that this is pretty much almost out of ink there's that amount of ink left in it so a little bit of ink um these i really do like and this one if i unscrew this you'll see here uh this has a broad nib there and you can see that nib and uh, i love how these write and uh, i have been writing with uh this pen this week i've uh, been writing some letters and I do like the Twisby Vac 700 Rs. Uh, I used to like the Twisby Diamond 580s, and I have a bunch of those, but I prefer these instead. So I have that one inked up with me today, although not a lot of ink left in the pen. The next pen I have inked up is the Molteni Modelo 55S, and this is in the royal blue luchance there and you can just see that sort of semi sort of transparent or translucent material there and it really is quite nice so um, this comes with an 18 karat gold nib there it's a bock nib it's a medium nib and uh, i do find that this actually uh, writes very nicely you can see the evernight feed there and this is a really lovely writing nib. So uh, I have that one inked up with me uh, this week as well. I have this one and this is, I have to say, one of my favourite pens at the moment. Uh, this is the Visconti Chatterley Luxuries Southwest. And this is a celluloid. Uh, it's not a resin. And uh, it's the celluloid that was on the Speakeasy and the St. Basil. And I really do love this material. You can see this here. Uh, I've got a review of this uh, pen and I, uh, there's a video review available for it. But this really is a captivating, uh, lovely, lovely material. Now, this has an 18 karat gold nib. It's a Visconti nib there. It's a medium nib. But I love how it writes. And... I love the pen, so uh, maybe it's because I'm liking more red inks, and I've got this inked up with a red ink, but I like how this one writes, and I am writing with this a lot at the moment. 
The next pen is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. And uh, this, again, is a beautiful pen. I love this sort of wood grain cut sort of arco type effect that's going on there. The way the material has been sliced through to give that sort of beautiful sort of texture there. And obviously you've got the almost what looks to be Varden, but it's not. It's uh, the uh, shiny lines, celluloids there. Um, and it really is a beautiful pen. The nib on here is an 18 karat gold nib, and you can see the dove nib there. It's a really lovely, beautiful nib. It's a medium nib, number eight size, with a very low profile ebonite feed, but this is really good in the size of my hand. It's a piston filling pen, so it holds about a milliliter to 1.2 milliliters of ink, um, which is about the same as the uh, Visconti, which is a power vac, and also the piston here on the uh, Molteni Modelo 55S. The next pen here is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, and I love this pen a lot. It's the red marble, and you can see this marble, all of the white veins going through that. And also the silver as well. This is solid sterling silver. And this is a weighty pen. It has a 23 cap palladium nib and it's a medium nib. Uh, it is a heavy pen, but I love how this writes in my hand. And it just feels, for me, feels very, very comfortable. So uh, for me, I have that one inked up again this week. It's got the hook safe lock. And uh, it's a power vac filler, but it's a, a single reservoir, not a double reservoir. Then I have its uh, close sibling, which is, again, a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, but this is in the lapis lazuli stone. Uh, and it's, again, solid silver, but it's plated in gold. So it's a gold for a male. Uh, the nib on here is an 18 karat gold nib, a uh, medium nib there. And... That is really nice. And again, I just love the weight and size of these pens. They they really, for me, are really, really good. So um, it, they just feel more comfortable in my hand than maybe a lighter pen does. So I have that one inked up as well. And again, that's a single reservoir, not a double reservoir. And then we have this one inked up. And this is the Visconti Blue Ripple. And this was a pen I, uh, I I needed to buy eventually, and I did buy it. This is a beautiful pen. It's a double reservoir. Um, you cannot see the ink in the body here, but you do have an ink window here, uh, hence the double reservoir. Uh, this comes with an older style 18 karat gold Visconti nib, and you can see that there. But I like, again, I like the size and weight of this in my hand. This is quite a nice weight and size. It just feels substantial to me. And I do like this pen a lot. So this is the, if I show you here, the Visconti Ripple. It's a blue ripple. And it's 875 of 999. But this is a really beautiful sort of overlay that it has on that pen then we have this one inked up and this is the Visconti Palazzo di Sassuolo and uh, this is a lovely old style Visconti it's got the Voyager style clip here spring loaded clip I do like these clips I, I do find that these are extremely functional um, it's a shame that Visconti went away from them to a point. Um, but I like this. It's a power vac filler. It has the palace uh, inscribed onto this body. It's a little bit harder to see, but I rotate that there. You'll see the inscription here on the pen. And then you have the Yellow Dawn, this lovely orange uh, cap and uh, power vac filling knob. The nib here is an older 18 karat gold nib there, and it's a medium nib as well. So uh, for me, I like this a lot, and this really 
does feel it's a lighter pen so it's not like the the previous three pens so it is lighter but it still feels nice in my hand uh, i think because it is a longer pen and that just allows me to rest the pen slightly differently in my hand and then the last pen here that i have inked up is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but probably not, but there is just a little drizzle of ink left in this body. Maybe you can see it here, just a very small amount, similar to the Twisby Vac. This is a beautiful pen. I like this pen a lot. It, it really is um, a, a pen that I like writing with a lot. Uh, it's got a 23 cap palladium nib. It's a medium nib got the hook safe lock mechanism on here it's a power vac it's a double reservoir it ticks all the boxes for me i really do like that and for me that is another good pen to have inked up this week so i think with that let's go and do a writing sample so the first pen is the london pen company christopher in Aeronoid caramel so we'll do an ink swatch. And I do like this nib a lot. It's a Yovo board nib, and I find that this writes exquisitely well. So this is a London pen company, and it's the Christopher in Aeronoid. caramel and it is a broad steel yovo nib and then the ink in here is waterman and it's absolute brown but that is a really nice color ink and a good writing pen the next pen is a Twisby Vac 700R Iris. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here that this is quite a broad nib. So this is a Twisby Vac 700R Iris. And it is a broad and it's a steel nib. And then the ink in here is diamine and it's mistletoe. The next pen is the Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a really lovely purpley ink that I like. And this is the Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens. And it's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is KWZ Gummy Berry. The next pen is the Visconti Chatterley Luxuries Southwest. We'll do an ink swatch. And I just love this pen. I love how it writes. It's For me, it's been a favorite newer pen. Uh, for me lately. So this is the Visconti Chatterley Luxuries Southwest and it is a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Mont Blanc 
do that. Uh, and it's corn poppy red. The next pen is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see this is a nice colour ink. So this is the Montegrappa Extra. 1930 shiny lines dove and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine and it's l gray the next pen is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see there that this is an interesting colour ink. So this is the Visconti Medici. Il Magnifico and it's a medium and it's a 23 cap palladium nib and then the ink in here is Pelican Edelstein and it's Star Ruby. The next pen is the, again, another Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. So we'll do an ink swatch. So this is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico. And it's the Lapis Lazuli. And it's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pelican. No. Pilot. Iwashizuku. And it's Ajise. think that may be the spelling. The next pen is a Visconti Blue Ripple. Do an ink swatch. And this is quite a saturated ink. So this is a Visconti Blue Ripple. And it is a medium and it's the older style 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine and it's imperial blue the next pen is the visconti ducali palazzo di sassuolo so we'll do an ink swatch And you can see a lovely bright orange colour there. So this is the Visconti Ducali Palazzo di Sassuolo. And it's a medium and it's an 18 count gold nib. One of the older 18 karat gold nibs. And then the ink in here is a Sailor Gentle. And it's Kinmakusai. And then the final pen here is a Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi. 
So we'll do an ink swatch. So this is a Visconti Homo sapiens. And it's a Caput Mundi. And it's a medium 23 cap palladium nib. Now this ink is getting low, so this nib is having a little bit of ink flow starvation. Uh, the ink in here is a Pelican. Edelstein. And uh, it is Garnet. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. So we have a London Pen Company, Christopher, in Aranoid Caramel, in a broad steel nib inked up with Waterman Absolute Brown. We have a Twisby Vac 700R Iris in a broad steel nib, and that's inked up with Diamine Mistletoe. We have a Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens, in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Gummy Berry. We have a Visconti, and this is a Chatterley Luxuries Southwest. And this is in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in a medium 23 karat palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edel Sign Star Ruby. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in a Lapis Lazuli in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Iroshizuku Ajise. We have a Visconti Blue Ripple in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Imperial Blue. We have a Visconti Ducali Palazzo di Sassuolo in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Sailor Gentle Kin Makusai. And then we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens, and this is the Caput Mundi in a medium 23 karat palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Garnet. So there you have it, that's my currently ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.